Madam President, I'm sorry to interrupt, but this is critical. You better have an excellent excuse for this intrusion, Miss Goldstein. Yesterday, a wizard entered New York with a case. This case, full of magical creatures, and unfortunately, some have escaped. Miss Commander. You know this man? Yes, wizarding families in Europe. What in the name of Merlin are you doing in New York? I came to buy an apple as a basket, sir. Were there witnesses to this attack? You know which of your creatures was responsible, Mr. Scamander. No creature did this. Don't pretend. You must know what that was. Look at the marks. I wasn't obscure. You go too far, Mr. Scamander. There is no obscurio in America. We register every birth, every wand. And Graves, destroy that case. Don't hurt those creatures. Please, you don't understand. Nothing in there is dangerous. Nothing. Arrest them. Please, look, if I could just explain, I think... I think it's a little late for that, Newt. Persistent bunch, you Americans. Almost as persistent as you're yapping. Merlin for that. Thought I'd never get a hold of one of these. Back from the other side. There hasn't been an obscurio recorded anywhere in 200 years. Take them to the cells. It's an obscurus. I'm telling you, it's an obscurus! <sighs> So sorry. Uh, can someone please tell me what this obscurial, obscurious thing is, please? Young wizards and witches sometimes try to suppress their magic to avoid persecution. So instead of learning to harness or to, to control yeah. their powers, they develop what was called an obscurus. It's an unstable, uncontrollable dark force that busts out and attacks and then vanishes. You too. Graves wants to see you. You're an interesting man, Mr. Commander. Just like your suitcase, I think there is. There's much more to you than meets the eye. 
Huh? I wonder what you can tell me about this. It's an obscure. No! But it's not what you think. It can't survive outside of me. It could not hurt anyone, Tina. So it's useless without the host. <laughs> useless? That is a parasitical magical force. What on earth did you use it for? <laughs> You brought this Obscurus into the city of New York in the hope of causing mass disruption. Breaking the statute of secrecy and revealing the magical world. You know that can't hurt anyone, you know that. You are therefore guilty of a treasonous betrayal of your fellow wizards that are sentenced to death. No! Don't do this, Bernadette. Please. It don't hurt. You want me to take a message to your family? Let her go! Well, crisis averted, it would seem. Yeah. Now we only need to escape one of the most highly secure buildings in America with everyone looking for us. This is out of my area of expertise. to take care of some business.
help me? Thanks. I thought I'd be stuck there forever. strange in another neighborhood that requires my attention. Aren't you incorrigible? Abigail L. Yates, Paranormal Studies Professional and Ghostbuster, at your service. The day for Homer J.
time to dispense some justice. better to hold on to this than B.A. Baracus, especially if it's gold. to go and empty the ghost traps. You got this, right? There's some other fools I need to attend to right now. Can't stand huh. shoulders. The descendants command and go forth to death for treason. You want me to take a message to your family? Mr. Abernathy. Oh. Dean, that's a great idea. I always wanted to meet him. Marlac. He was an informant of mine when I was at Aurora. He used to trade in magical creatures on the side. Well, he wouldn't happen to have an interest in animal droppings, would he? He's interested in anything he can sell. I heard rumors that there might be some fantastic. Well, suppose I better find this.